Hey everyone and welcome to another All About Arby's video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2020 and a half Forest River Arctic Wolf 3660 Suites. This is a quad slide out rear living room mid bunk fifth wheel. This is one of their more popular units. Uh, we do really really well with this unit. So I wanted to take a few minutes run you around the inside and outside of this unit. I actually have two of them in here today. One that is open and one that is closed. So I wanted to kind of show you around a little bit on the inside and then we're going to head back to the outside. But I wanted to start by going up into the closed one so you could kind of see what you're walking into. If you stop at a rest area or something like that, um, you can still come in here and use the beds and the bathroom and stuff like that. So when you first walk in, you're actually walking into the little hallway area, which here is your bunk area, basically. So there's a little sofa down there, and there's also a little flip-up bed there. So you could sleep two people in there if you needed to. You got plenty of room to come on up and go into your bathroom bedroom area but up here is another little loft area and obviously you can get to this sleep a couple people up here if you needed to bathroom area again plenty of room to come right on up into here and go into the bathroom area going into the bedroom area again plenty of room to get in here use the bed if you need to you do have to kind of crawl over each other a little bit there to kind of get onto the other side but again the unit is functional to where you can at least come in use the bathroom on the side of the road kind of thing uh, rest area kind of thing come in sleep whatever but pretty simple easy to do quick little view there you can kind of see back up in there But now we're going to head over to the one that's actually opened. Kind of show you that one real quick. Don't forget, guys, if you're interested to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to update a lot of these new RVs as they come in and out for you guys. I have the lights off, so we're going to go in here real quick, kind of show you what it looks like with just all the little blue accent lighting lit up there. So it's kind of cool for the kids. Got these little blue LED night lights. We'll turn the regular lights on here in a second here. But just wanted to kind of give you a quick look at it. Even up here in the uh, kids' room when it's open, I got their own little blue LED accent lighting on up into the master bedroom area again you got your own little blue lighting all right we're gonna kick on the regular lights here for you real quick let you take a look all right guys we're back now with the actual lights and stuff on here so we can see in here a little bit better and kind of taking a look toward the rear of the coach so we're going to start back here in the back Again, rear living room, mid bunk, quad slide, fifth wheel here. And the back of the coach, you can see you do have your sofa there. That is a tri-fold sofa. So that sofa will flip out and make into a full-size bed. Little end tables on each side there. A little storage on the one on the left. Electric outlet and USB charger ports on both sides. Quite a bit of windows back here, letting in some more natural light. I have the blinds pulled here. These are pretty cool blinds, actually. These things right here, you can kind of see a little bit here, the way they roll up and down. So you can kind of leave some light in or out, depending on how you roll the shade. Ceiling fan up top, ducted air conditioning. Again, all LED lights throughout the inside of the coach. Flat screen TV there, electric fireplace. Now that is all kind of built outward towards you for storage space and stuff. So you got a lot of storage in there. But also on the back side is an outdoor little kitchen area that you'll see once we get outside there. Little radio there, indoor-outdoor speakers. 
freestanding dinette with four chairs, a little bit of storage underneath each seat there. The theater seat directly across from the TV is pretty cool. I like it nice and comfortable. does have little uh, LED lights built into it as well, along with heat and massage. Then you will have cup holders. It's four cup holders um, with some storage in the middle there. The Furion 12-volt refrigerator system, 10.7 12-volt refrigerator. Nice size fridge, but it's 12-volt powered. Uh, this particular unit was ordered with the juice pack, they call it, which is a 50-watt solar panel, expandable to 100, so you could put an additional 50 water on it if you wanted. Uh, but that just kind of helps keep everything juiced up. So when you're traveling down the road, your truck is charging the battery, the solar panel is charging the battery. Um, so there's a uh, lot more juice kind of just helping to keep things flow as you're going. You don't have to worry about the propane being on and all that type of stuff. Especially if you're going out west through some tunnels and stuff where you have to worry about stopping to turn those propane fridges off. High-rise faucet there with the uh, nice little farm sink built in. Quite a bit of storage and drawer space down below. I like the uh, stove there. Again, it has the glass front with the built-in light along with the LED knobs. Um, that is becoming honestly more popular and just about everybody's doing some version of that depending on the brand nowadays but uh, that is definitely a lot nicer than the old stoves quite a bit of storage space and pantry space also there is more usb charger ports there on the wall on the uh, end of the uh, island over there and more USB charger ports and electric outlet there. You can also see your heat duct coming out the side of the cabinet instead of through the floor. Going back this way here, we're at our main entry door area and you basically walk right into the little hallway section but it takes you straight into the kid's room. So that sofa, along with the little bunk up there, is actually a slide out. So that section is going in and out as you travel. Sofa makes into a good size bed. Some more storage space here. Place for a TV as well. Mostly linoleum throughout the camper in the downstairs section. They do have to do a little bit of carpet in the slide out areas though. USB charger ports here in the kids room as well. Electric box with your breakers and fuses down below. And up here on the wall you have uh, one of the slide out controls here, some more slide out controls here, awning, light switches, Water pump, water heater on gas, electric switches outside for the water heater. Um, battery condition, all that type of stuff. The little voltmeter for the solar panel system. Air conditioning and furnace controls. Little coat closet, so you could put a couple small coats in there, nothing real big. Uh, but a little coat closet for the kids. And then down below, another little thing they changed up a little bit was they made this step open up. So that's a little bit different than previous versions. Little ladder pulls out, so it's easier for the kids to get up in here. And there's also uh, TV hookups here too. So you can put a small TV up here in this little loft area. but a decent little space for the kids to sleep. Bathroom area here. Foot flush toilet. 
does have the porcelain bowl. Little pullover uh, shower curtain thing here. So that's just kind of a little vinyl sliding uh, closure there. Big fan up top. Air conditioning heat both in the bathroom. And we're going to pop up some pictures here to kind of show you the uh, area back here for your sink. And your little medicine cabinet area there. Going back in here, we are entering the master bedroom area. Plenty of room at the foot of the bed. They do carpet this area. Have a window here. TV area. Little dresser area there. The uh, closet's a little interesting, what they did here compared to some of the other brands that I sell. Um, the two sliding glass doors there block the hanging closet portion that you're seeing. But when they are closed, you technically open up the shelf area there on the left. So a little bit different arrangement the way they set that up there. And then back underneath of there is another electric outlet and USB charger port thing. Plenty of room on both sides of the bed, so it's nice and easy to get in and out of here. The bed does raise up. There's storage underneath the bed. And you have a pretty cool little area back here as well. That opens up right there. Washer dryer prep. So if you want to do washer dryer prep, um, that you know, put a washer dryer in it, that kind of thing, it's all set up for it right there. Or you just have extra closet space and shelving space. Again, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos. Uh, trying to update all these new RVs as they come rolling in and out of here for you guys to check them all out. And visit CouchesRVNation.com. They are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. They're definitely going to save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. We're going to take a few minutes and head to the outside now, show you around the outside real quick that's closed and then also the opened version. All right, guys, we're on the outside now. I just want to do a quick walk around here of the outside where it's closed just to kind of show you what it all looks like. And we're going to go focus over there on the one that's actually opened. The uh, Arctic Wolf is built by the Forest River Company, but it is also under the Cherokee brand lineup. Now, this customer that is purchasing this one is actually going to be pulling his with the Anderson Ultimate Hitch instead of doing a traditional fifth wheel. He's going with the gooseneck setup. So a little bit different. Uh, that's a pretty cool hitch. Definitely talk with your salesperson about that feature. All right. And we're going to start over here on the one that is open. And kind of take you all around the outside section here. All right. On the front corner here, you're going to find a lot of your informational sticker stuff here. So, for example, this particular coach was built 116 of 2020. This is a mid year model change version, so a lot of times referred to as a 2020 and a half. Uh, so, it's a little bit different than the earlier versions produced. You have two 6,000 pound axles, plus, you also are going to have hitch weight because all the weight does not sit on the axles. That's what those feet are there for, and that is also what that hitch pin is there for. A good amount of weight sits on that. So your actual gross vehicle weight, the most you can load it up to, hitch weight along with axle weight is 13,655 pounds. That's the gross combined weight rating. ST23580R16E range tires. So that is the basic specs of the unit right there. I'll show you the dry weight when we get over to that sticker. 
Behind the door here, you have a single 20 pound propane tank. There is one on each side. A lot of brands are starting to go back to these smaller 20 pound tanks in the uh, freedom of being able to exchange them out at like Quickie Mart, gas stations, places like that. You don't have to go find a propane company to refill it for you. Pass-through storage here goes all the way across. Does have a little LED light strip built in. And then you also see your jack controls up there. The unit has four point electric auto level system on it. So you have two electric front jacks with the quick pull pins right there. And you're gonna have two more in the rear of the coach, which do not require pull pins back there. But basically you drop the front legs, get it off your truck, hit the auto level button. Down below is your freshwater tank drain. Your gray and black tank dump handles are right here. Now everything comes out of the one spot over there, but there is a galley tank handle back toward the back some. More pass-through storage that you're seeing here. Your cable and satellite inlets, black tank flush, city water hookup, fresh water inlets are all right there. Six gallon gas and electric water heater on the unit. The electric button is right down here in the corner to turn it on electric. Furnace exhaust out right there. The unit is also prepped from the factory for slide out awning toppers. So there's a backer in the wall, along with the little brackets on the corner of each slide out. Uh, they prep them, pre-prep them, I guess you'd say, for the uh, Solair slide toppers. Aluminum wheels, drum brakes, and see your back auto level jacks right there. And another little thing that they do you kind of see there the little green valve stem caps. Those are tire pressure monitoring caps. So a little bit of an upgrade there over a lot of other RVs. On around to the back corner here, you have your 50 amp electric cord hookup right there. It's a det uh, detachable power cord. And outside utility shower with hot and cold water right there. Little luggage rack on the back of the unit. Up top there, you can see it is pre-wired for an observation camera or backup camera. Uh, definitely talk with your salesperson about that. Recommend the observation camera. Really great feature to be able to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road. On this corner here, there is a spray port hookup. So you got a little water outlet right there. And then down below is a gas line hookup as well. Over here, you can kind of see the little outdoor kitcheny area here. So you do have a pretty good sized little refrigerator out here. So pretty nice setup compared to a lot of outdoor kitchen refrigerators. And then down below, you have a little dump sink. There's your little blue hose. Little drawer space. There's a light switch here for the LED blue lights that you're seeing that were on up there. Uh, but you also have an individual white light as well. Now, another thing that's kind of nice, the door does kind of act as a little bit of an awning so if you're out there trying to grab some things out it doesn't just let the uh, water go straight in they're doing the more ride step going in and out so quad step comes down touches the ground it's more stable especially when the kids are running in and out of this thing uh, it's definitely going to help keep the camper from shaking some informational stickers you'll see located there by the entry door when you go in and out of the RVs. And you do have a decent size folding entry handle there. Now you'll find the weight sticker 
located on the door here or also sometimes on the pen box itself. But the actual dry weight of the camper, the way it sits, 11,035 pounds. Tells you up here on this sticker, cargo carrying capacity, 2,582 pounds. That is your, again, hitch weight and everything kind of combined kind of thing. Quite a bit of storage, pass-through storage there. There is a little area right here where you can feed TV wires through because you have TV hookups right back there. Electric outlet, cable outlet. Also, you can see the little light back there as well. But a pretty good amount of storage. It even goes back underneath of there. You can also see the welded aluminum framing there too. And you do have the little pet friendly hooks down there. So you can uh, leash up your dog if you need to. Blue accent LED lighting out here along with blue accent LED speakers as well. The other 20 pound propane tank. Then you do have pre-wire for portable solar panel there that you can see. Nice fiberglass cap. Really good size awning as well too. I forgot to mention there that awning, uh, you know, probably close to a 20 foot awning roughly. And it does have the adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff and stuff like that. Now down under here, you will see your little compartment here for your spare tire area. Along with battery compartment, battery disconnect, the uh, little solar charger monitor thing back there as well. Along with some of the controls for the auto level system and stuff that you'll see there. And the cap also has little blue LED lights built into it as well. So overall, a pretty nice unit here. A um, lot of sleeping capacity, big size, and it has a reasonable budget. Pricing and information will be down below for you there. But a uh, really nice unit that don't necessarily break the bank, but lets you take the whole family out and do a lot of camping. Thanks, guys, for checking out the video. Uh, again, be sure to check out Couches RV Nation. Thanks, guys.